Hi, I'm Bruno, demonstration chef for Kasai Grills. Today we're going to be doing pork tomahawk. Okay, got a beautiful pork tomahawk. Um, and what we want to show you is that then particularly from there, whilst cooking on the Kasai Grill, you can then also then particularly cook uh, a bean stew or then other products to then go with the dish. Actually, a really, really great way of cooking because everything comes from the one station. Okay, so first off, we've then oiled, salt and peppered your tomahawk. All we're gonna then do is then just pop it over the coals. Coals are ready and away we go. Beautiful. So as that's cooking, we'll then start turning here and there and over. We want a really good caramelization and color over that. Um, then from there, when we're nearly ready, I want to start with then the bean stew. For the bean stew, we've got um, fine diced onion, garlic, small paprika, we've got some really good pancetta, we've got a cannelier bean and a butter bean, we've got some tomato relish, um, which is really good tomato relish, tomato passata will be okay as well from that point of view, we've got a bit of chopped parsley just to finish and a little bit of oil just to start off and a really good sort of cast iron pan, doesn't have to be, just that I'm going to serve it in that as well, um, or then you can then serve it on the plate, happy days, happy cooking. Really sort of giving a really good seal just on both sides really, and then we'll then get to caramelization and get going from there. Happy days. Okay, so we've turned it over just a few times there now, as we can see, good bit of caramelization, but then also as well, getting there ever so nicely just now. Time to start bean stew. Okay, so we're gonna pop a little touch of oil just in the pan from there. Pan chat first, get that sizzling away. Now obviously with your pancetta, you've got the salt already, it's been cured, so I'm going to go easy on the salt and the seasoning. Beautiful. So if you are nearly ready with your tomahawk there as well, you can then switch it over. I've got a little bit of a cooler zone just on this side here for the griddle. And when I set my fire up, I can then just actually rest my meat and then just start my fire off a bit more. Just there. So we can see we've released a nice good bit of flavour from there. That's your onions. It's just a nice good fine dice of onion there. I'll sweat that down, add the garlic. You just want your onions just to start, just to become quite soft. Again there we can see, great. Just want a bit more colour just on that side, so we'll just rest that against the pan. Okay, so we want to pop your beans just in there as well. Some of your smoked paprika. Beautiful. And then just your relish. Beautiful. Stir it all in ever so nicely. Just there. Oh, that'll just come up to temperature now. We're nearly there. taste for seasoning. Pretty damn good. Make sure both sides are really quite nice. Finished off. Beautiful. So from a dish point of view, nice clean spoon. Obviously from there as well after tasting. So literally from there, let's just add a bit of chopped parsley just to finish off. Everything's come up temperature, as we can see. Stunning. Ready to serve. Stunning caramelization. Good, nice little bit of render on that as well. Just there, 
Lovely. Beautiful. Okay. Just to finish off. Stew. Tomahawk pork steak. Living the dream. <laughs> 